Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to evaluate variable expressions with integers. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem. When n equals negative 5, evaluate n plus 1 and negative n plus 1. This is a little different than our previous problem. Let's start with part a. We want to evaluate, uh, when n equals negative 5, evaluate this expression n plus 1. We're actually going to write this expression first, the n plus 1. From there, we're going to take this negative 5 and plug it in for n. So we have negative 5 here plus 1. Now from here, negative 5 plus a 1. Hopefully you're getting better with this, but negative 5 plus a 1 is going to be a negative 4. So we're finding the difference between the two numbers, which is 4 if you ignore the negative sign. But our final answer here has to be negative. So negative 5 plus 1 is a negative 4. What about the next one? Part B. Same process. Rewrite negative n plus 1. We're going to again take this 5 and plug it in for the n. Or negative 5, excuse me. Now be careful with the double negatives here. There's a negative on the outside, and now we're substituting him for n, a negative 5 on the inside, plus 1. Two negatives make a positive, but not like two wrongs make a right. But two negatives do make a positive when you multiply it. Negative times a negative is a positive, positive 5, plus 1. 5 plus a 1 is a 6, and there we have it. We simplified it when... Uh, we evaluated negative n plus 1 when n equals negative 5, and we got a 6. I hope you learned something here on how to evaluate variable expressions with integers. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.